What is going on guys? My name is Everletcher and today I am back with another Pixel Gun 3D video. So before I actually hop into this video, thank you all so much for all of the support you guys have been giving me recently. The sub growth has been incredible and just thank you all so much for that. In the last video I did, the last update review, it's like almost 3,000 views. So thank you all so much for that and uh, let's go ahead and hop into this video. So as you guys can see, I am at tier 29 already and I do have a challenge that I can use to go ahead and get to tier 30. And then I can unlock this little good baby right here, the Night Hunter. Um, but before I actually do that, I want to talk about the battle pass and if it is worth it so basically my 100 honest opinions is yes it is definitely worth it if you have the money if you guys do not have the money do not worry um it, you're not missing out on too terribly much it, the free one's good enough as it is but if you have already a bunch of battle credits stacked up from previous battle passes and stuff like that and then you earn more and you can actually get it for free definitely definitely get it but if you do just have ten dollars lying around then you can go ahead and upgrade your battle pass for just ten dollars as you guys can see right there so definitely get it if you guys do have the money for it or if you do have the credits for it um you get a lot out of it you get i think three weapons from the golden one and you get one weapon from the free one so let's, let's look we got one and then you get the minigun right over here on what's called the hand minigun and then you also get the spec ops pistol which is very 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 good um, that you get a lot of free weapons before the battle passes were really really bad and honestly weren't even worth trying for But now you get a bunch of crates a bunch a bunch of uh, crates a bunch of coins and just a bunch of VIPs If you buy it, um, you get a lot of stuff out of it And from what I've seen the armadillo is completely overpowered and they definitely definitely need to fix that Um, I have not seen any gameplay on the night hunter So you guys will see some of that later on in this video Um, and I have not seen any gameplay on the spec ops pistol or the Min hand minigun so i do want to see that but i'm probably not going to be able to get that unless i can get me a maxed out account because i do not have the money to buy the battle pass on this account so with that being said let's go ahead and get this challenge done and check out this weapon so with the challenges i've already gotten one done we have eliminate three enemies in the siege mode go ahead and click claim right there here we go this is what i'm getting i do really wish i did have five dollars i can spend to get enough credits to buy the battle pass but here we go let's go ahead and buy that right there i've been looking for a good primary weapon for a long time so there we go let's go ahead and equip this and look at this so right here we have the Night Hunter. The Night Hunter has an efficiency of 31, fire rate of 80, capacity of 35, mobility of 70, automatic, silent, and 4 times zoom. And it can go all the way up to max tier of 65. So um, let's just go ahead and check this out and see if it's worth getting. My, my other one was the Rapid Fire Rifle, which is only a 15 efficiency on my account. Um, so it really was not even worth using. I just needed something to get better than this little crappy simple machine gun over here with the 5 efficiency because that, that, that is just garbage. So let's just go ahead and hop right into a match and see if it's worth it. I think I'm going to Aztec Temple because that's going to be a good map to test like overall how it is. So I will see you guys as soon as I load it up right there. Alrighty, so here we go. Let's just go ahead and check it out. First off, how does it sound? I know you guys can't hear this, but I can. Um, it sounds sort of like a less futuristic version of the um, future police rifle. Um, so right here, I believe someone's right there. Let's see if I can get a kill with it. The the bloom is not that bad actually the bloom is really really good because the bloom if you guys do not know is the longer you hold it down the more inaccurate that it will get and this one seems to be very similar to the crystal laser cannon as in it's not going to be moving that much so you're gonna have really good aim with it um you're not gonna have to worry about that so right over here let's see if i can get a kill nope got a kill assist though the reload speed is actually pretty slow i do wish that was a little bit better but honestly if i did that it'd probably be a little bit too overpowered so let's hit that med kit right over here and see if i can get a kill with this i do want to get a kill i haven't got a kill with it yet the ammo capacity seems to be a bit questionable um headshot double kill and i stood still so i did die right there so honestly i'm not the best player so i'm not trying to say that i am um i know this is not the most exciting video i do have people in the house so i cannot be too terribly loud while recording this so i apologize for that but here we go let's throw out right over there and see if i can get this killed there we go it's a, it's a very very powerful weapon as you guys can see um especially at these lower levels as it's like a four shot kill uh to max out armor i believe i'm i hope that's right uh here we go let's check out the scope is the scope worth using oh my my, my aim's not worth using obviously I'm, I'm too bad at aim but uh i'm improving hopefully so let's come over here and see what happens. I'm just going to throw that right over there. And all right, we got the people over here. And let's see if I get blast. There we go. I did the kill, but I did just die as well with the assault machine gun. Dang it, you meanie. All right, I like bunnies. I do not. So I'm going to kill you because you are, you don't agree with me. That just makes lots of sense, doesn't it? Here we go. We got blast over here. 
Oh my gosh, I do not like the freaking whatever that was. The dude spamming the laser weapon. I don't like that. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and check this out. Throw this right over there. Uh, definitely, I think they did a really good job of balancing this weapon. Um, it doesn't have a super fast firing rate, so you're not getting a lot of DPS. But um, the ammo capacity is not too terribly high either, so you do have to take granted that you do have to cannot waste ammo because I've been wasting ammo and it's not doing good at all. But um, personally... I like it. I really do. It just shows that you cannot spam this weapon the entire game and get and get a lot of kills with it. Um, definitely, you can use it at longer ranges, probably, and it'll probably do a lot better. But uh, I got eight kills with it. Not too terribly bad. I believe I had one grenade kill right there, so subtract one, I had seven. But uh, yeah. So, I know it's been a pretty pretty short video, and it's not been the most exciting video. If you guys do want to see me do an actual review on the weapon, um, an actual one, not just, because this one's more of a, I got maxed here, and the battle pass thing. If you want to see an actual review on the Night Hunter, make sure you tell me that down below, and I will get that out as soon as I can. Um, I do, I'm trying to get a good account on my tablet. This is on my phone right now, because I'm trying to get better on my tablet, but I'm not too doubly good. I want to get a good account on that, so I can get a lot of reviews out for you guys. So, be sure to look forward to that. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like. And if you guys did not, I guess you guys can leave a dislike. But overall, just make sure you comment down something positive because, I mean, who doesn't like a positive comment? If you guys do want to support my channel, make sure you just go up there, copy the link, and share it with a friend or share it on Hangouts or iMessage, whatever you have. Just share it with somebody. That's honestly the best way that you guys can support my channel right now. Make sure you comment down below and tell me which sniper I should buy next in the game. I'm thinking maybe the Railgun. I love the Railgun. So uh, make sure you tell me that down below. And yeah. If you guys do want to see more content, make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell notifications if you have not already. And um, with that being said, I will see you all in the next video.